What's going on, Rejuvenator family? Welcome back to the channel for this week's episode of Shoe Care Academy. Today I'm gonna to be cleaning these Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lows, and this is one of my favorite Jordan collaborations that come out in the last few years. And these are actually Steve, AKA Mr. Rejuvenator's personal pair. I know he's been using them to do some yard work and other things around the house. Uh, but you know I gotta get them perfect because Steve is nitpicky about his cleaning products, as you well know. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So being that these shoes belong to Pops himself, you know we gotta get them perfect. So I'm not too worried about that. I know our essential kit has got all the tools we need to get these things done. So let's break it out. This is one of our most popular kits and is available at rejuvenator.com. It comes with a microfiber towel, all three of our brushes, and a four ounce cleaning solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and we'll get to it. All right, so we're ready to dig into this cleaning. The first step I'm gonna do is remove the laces and insert our adjustable shoe tree. Okay, now the laces are out and that shoe tree is in there, we're gonna go ahead and get our cleaning solution, which is concentrated, so we add it to water, and just two small squirts will do. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with our soft bristle brush. One thing I do wanna take note of is this is like a really delicate um, nubuck material, so as I use the cleaning solution, I don't wanna use too much water, so we're gonna shake off as much excess as we can before we hit the shoe. Another consideration you want to make when you are cleaning suede or nubuck is to wet all of the shoe, the same sort of level of water, um, because you don't want to get any water spots when those shoes dry out. One important note while using your cleaning brushes is just to really be gentle and let the brush do its work. These things were designed to clean your shoes and lift up all that loose dirt and grime. You just don't want to be too rough with the shoe. We don't want a chance damaging any of this suede or this fabric. I'm gonna go ahead and pat this shoe dry. Just kind of get a read on where we are. All right, as you can see with this shoe, once you get it wet, it really darkens that material. So it can be difficult to find where those stains still are. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it one more time with a soft bristle brush just to make sure I got everything. And then we'll move on to the midsole with our medium bristle brush. So we've hit those uppers twice with the soft bristle brush, still just being really gentle because of the nature of this fabric. And uh, I think we got most of it up, but we're gonna have to wait until it's dry to really see how this cleaning came out. Next, I'm gonna move on to the midsole and I'm gonna start with our medium bristle brush. All right. Now guys, I don't know about you, but I really love this shoe. Um, it dropped in the summer of 2019, so last summer, and uh, it was a smash hit. Like, I actually do prefer the low top version of this shoe to the high top. I know many of you probably don't agree with me on that, but it's got such like a skate shoe feel to it, and I just think like, man, they nailed it on the colorway. Uh, whatever you think about high top, low top, there's no argument that Travis Scott and his team came out swinging with this collaboration. I think it's all time like high value is about $2,000. And, uh, and it's leveled out a little bit since then, but still the shoe, you can, you can find it for like five, six, seven hundred dollars depending on your size. And uh, that's why I don't have a pair of my own. <laughs> I 
All right. So that medium bristle brush does a really great job of just getting that surface dirt off of the rubber. But I'm gonna hit it one more time with the stiff bristle brush, see if we can get some of that deeper grime out of there. As always with the stiff bristle brush, you really wanna be careful where that midsole meets the upper, because you can do some real damage to the upper if you're not careful. And guys, I know it might be tempting when you're holding a stiff bristle brush to really apply a lot of pressure, but it's totally unnecessary. And you can extend the life of your brushes just by using them the way that they were made. Let the brush do the work. These bristles were designed for this. All right, so you can see we got a really great clean all the way around that midsole. I'm gonna go back to the stiff bristle brush and hit the outsole this time. So we got the entire pre-treatment done on this shoe. Um, like I said, with this type of suede, with this dark color, it's really difficult to tell how clean the shoe is until it dries. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. And we'll find out whether or not we need to toss it in the laundry system or, or just hit it again with the pre-treatment. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side and we're gonna get ready for cleaning our shoelaces. Cleaning the shoelace is pretty simple. You just take your cleaning bowl with the remaining solution and just Get them as soaked as you can. Just agitate that solution and get it all throughout the shoelace. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll it around our hands, get it nice and sudsy. And since we're not running these laces through the wash, we can go ahead and wring them out using the microfiber towel. You just pinch it between your fingers and keep pulling that until you're finished. I'm gonna hit it one more time, just go in the opposite direction. All right, and there you have a clean shoelace. All right, you guys, that's all we can do to the shoe for right now. We're gonna have to set it aside and let it dry. Once it dries, we'll be able to find out what stains did or didn't come off during that treatment, and we'll reset the nap on this new buck using our medium bristle brush. While we wait, if you're enjoying the content, why don't you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll be back after a bit. All right, you guys, we just got back with this Travis Scott Low, all dried up, and I gotta say I'm really, really pleased with how well this shoe cleaned up. Um, as I was saying earlier, when it got wet, it just got so dark you could really hardly tell where the stains were and were not. But uh, looking around the shoe, I don't see any areas of concern really at all here. Uh, one thing's bugging me a little bit that there's a, a grass stain here on the midsole, but there's no way I'm getting that out. Um, so, but all in all, I'm super excited. If you guys have been noticing these the whole video, that we got a few just like stray threads here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and chop those off before we get back to resetting the nap and releasing these shoes. There we go. That's been bugging Shelly the entire time we've been shooting this video. <laughs> so there you go, Shelly. All right, since this is a new buck shoe, I'm gonna grab our medium bristle brush and I'm just gonna hit these new buck parts real quick, back and forth, real gentle, just so we can reset that nap and get that buttery texture back. Thank you. 
And the reason we do that is every time you get suede or nubuck wet, it really starts to get a little bit crispy and stiff when it dries. So resetting that just gets that shoe looking almost brand new. So last step is I'm gonna lace these guys up. So that wraps us up for this cleaning on the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. Uh, I just want to bring this dirty shoe back into the frame and give you guys a real comparison of the work that we did here today. It wasn't a tough cleaning, it actually went a lot smoother than I expected. We got some fantastic results out of these and I think Steve's going to be happy when he slips them back on his feet. You guys already know that I love this shoe, I was gushing about it earlier, but I mean every detail. I love the colorway, I love the little cactus jack features, the reverse swoosh. Um, but whether or not you love this shoe or, or have feelings about high versus low, why don't you just let us know in the comments down below what you think Travis Scott's next collaboration with the Jordan brand should be. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>